Blink-182 fans are gearing up for one of the hottest gigs of the summer as the American rock band is playing in Dublin this week. With iconic hits like All the Small Things and One More Time the concert is set to draw a crowd of about 15,000 people to the outdoor gig. And with drummer Travis Barker married to Kourtney Kardashian, who is often spotted at Blink-182 shows, it's quite possible she could be in the crowd. Here's everything you need to know ahead of the gig. Blink-182 will play the Royal Hospital Kilmanham on the grounds of the Irish Museum of Modern Art on Tuesday, August 27. Fans will descend on the venue from 5 p.m. when gates open with support act The Story, so far taking to the stage at 7.30 p.m. Blink-182 will take to the stage after the support act and while there is no official time listed for the Dublin gig, they're set to take to the stage at 8.45 p.m. at their gig in Belfast the day before. Public transport options to Royal Hospital, Kilmanham include Lewis, train or bus. Fans can take the Red Line Lewis or the train to Houston Station and from there it's only a short five-minute walk to the venue. There are a number of Dublin bus routes that stop at the nearby St. John's Road West or Houston Station including the 52, 51D, 60, C1, C2, C3, C4, 79 and 79A. Bus routes G1, G2, 20, and 13 all stop at St. James's Hospital, which is about a 10-minute walk to the venue. The gig is sold out however, if your lucky resale tickets might become available on Ticketmaster, with prices up to 100 euros. Courtney and Travis are an inseparable couple and are well known for their public displays of affection. She is Travis' biggest fan and often attends Blink-182 gigs living up to the band's famous lyric. Always, I know you'll be at my show. She helped Travis overcome his fear of flying and has flown with him as he tours around the world. She even accompanied him all the way out to Australia for a month in February 2024. It is quite possible that Courtney will attend the Irish gig in Royal Hospital Kilmanham as she has already flown over to the UK with baby Rocky, who is now nine months old. Courtney was spotted supporting Travis at the Reading Festival in England over the weekend so she may well hop on a plane and come to the Dublin gig too. So if you're attending, keep your eyes peeled for a Kardashian. Courtney Kardashian recently shared a glimpse of her unborn son's nursery, and it's not the luxurious $10,000 wooden crib that caught everyone's attention but a seemingly disturbing detail lurking in the background per the U.S. son nestled in her opulent million Los Angeles mansion, Kardashian showcased the lavish gradient crib from Nursery Works strategically positioned in front of expansive windows offering a view of the sprawling yard. However, what captured the imagination of eagle-eyed fans was not the crib itself, but a peculiar blue furry toy housed within its confines. This enigmatic doll, identified as Visti and crafted by the Japanese artist Verde, took center stage in the Instagram post. Yet, it was not Visti's vibrant blue fur that left fans unsettled, but rather the subtle yet airy appearance of the name Rocky on a branch of what appeared to be a wishing tree adorning the crib. User I'm underscore saved underscore by underscore grace said, I'm sure she will put liners around it so baby doesn't get stuck. While another user Vintage War raised concern by saying, Hazard, to which another user replied saying, How? She's obviously going to take the toy out. Kardashian, currently pregnant at the age of 44, has been recuperating at home after a recent episode that necessitated a very urgent fetal surgery. The reality star, known for her transparency on social media, shared a poignant black and white photo on Instagram, depicting her husband Travis holding her hand during the tumultuous time. Expressing gratitude, Courtney acknowledged the skill of her doctors in saving her baby's life, emphasizing her eternal appreciation for her husband's swift return from tour to be by her side. I will be forever grateful to my incredible doctors for saving our baby's life. I am eternally grateful to my husband who rushed to my side from tour to be with me in the hospital and take care of me afterwards, my rock. And to my mom, thank you for holding my hand through this, she wrote. She further added, as someone who has had three really easy pregnancies in the past, I wasn't prepared for the fear of rushing into urgent fetal surgery. I don't think anyone who hasn't been through a similar situation can begin to understand that feeling of fear. I have a whole new understanding and respect for the mamas who have had to fight for their babies while pregnant, she continued. The POSH founder concluded, praise be to God. Walking out of the hospital with my baby boy in my tummy and safe was the truest blessing.